Hey everybody, it's Kathy and I'm back with another Dollar Tree haul. Um, I picked up some more Easter stuff and I have some food finds that I thought were pretty cool and uh, just some random other things. So let me get started with this haul. Hope you're all having a great day. It's Friday. It's the weekend. Woohoo! So I uh, hope you're all going to have a good, nice weekend and uh, relax a little bit if you've been working all week. And uh, let me get started. Um, first thing I found was a couple of food finds. I found this uh, Creole Foods Dirty Rice. Uh, it's a five ounce package. It says microwave or stove top. And uh, I like dirty rice, so I thought I would give it a try. It looks pretty yummy on the package. And uh, it's good until January of 2021. So plenty of time to uh, use this. Picked up two packs of this. I picked up one pack of the ramen, top ramen shrimp, just to have when I don't feel like cooking anything. You get five in a package. And these things are pretty good, you know, when you just don't feel like doing anything or you want a hot cup of soup or something. I picked these up. I also found the uh, pink Himalayan salt 84, pink Him Himalayan uh, salt. This is the ground salt, fine grain. So you can put this right in your salt shaker. Uh, it's supposed to have um, benefits for you. It uh, says it contains up to 84 minerals and elements. And uh, it's supposed to be better for you than I think white salt. So I'm going to give it a try. Um, I think this goes for about six or eight dollars in the stores and I got it for a buck so and you get uh, one pound so I grabbed that and this was something I was really psyched about finding it's a cold stone creamery birthday cake uh, hot chocolate I thought that was really cool um, it makes ten servings and Cold Stone Creamery is a really great ice cream place if you uh, get ice cream from there. And I thought birthday cake would be really good. Um, and I also found the peanut butter cup. Mmm, that's going to be really good, hot cocoa. I mean, I'm not really sure whether this is supposed to be like, well, let me see what it says. It says hot beverage. It doesn't say cocoa. With natural and artificial flavors of cake batter, brownie, fudge, and rainbow sprinkles. So, mmm, that sounds really good. On a cold day when you're looking for something to warm you up, mmm, mmm, mmm. Um, got some more Easter treats for the kids, of course. Here's those other two packs of the uh, Mike and Ike Easter boxes that I knew I got, but I apparently hadn't shown them yet. Uh, these again are grape, strawberry, lemon, lime, cherry, and pineapple banana. They're five ounce packages. And so these two plus the two I showed in my other video make four for the four older grands. Picked up five packages of the Easter M&Ms. Caroline can eat M&Ms. So I thought I would get one for each of the grands. Um, they are 3.10 ounce packages, and they come in the pretty pastel colors. M&Ms are just a classic for any holiday. They come in Christmas colors, Easter colors, Halloween colors, but I like the um, pastel ones. I think they're really cute. So I got those for the kids for their baskets. All right, guys. It's not a sign. But I picked up, look at this stinking felt decor piece. Isn't he the cutest little bunny? And he's got sparkles, glitter on his ears and on his little bow tie and on the egg. He's holding an egg. And it's purple all around. These are all egg shapes all around here. So stinking cute. I had to pick it up. And then I also found the chick so cute and that's also got the green eggs all around and look at the little chick uh, i love easter it's so cute just has the cutest little decorations so i got the bunny and i got 
the chickadee. Very cute. He's coming out of an egg and he's holding an egg. So very, very cute. I had to pick those up. Uh, let me see. A couple, two more things for Easter. Finally found the egg holder. You can use this when you color your eggs to put the eggs in. Or you can use this for deviled eggs. Uh, it's got two, four, six, eight. 10, 12. So it holds a dozen eggs. And uh, I picked up the purple one, but it also came in, uh, I think, blue and pink. My store only had this one and the blue one, I think. But I thought the purple one was really cute. And I this was on my wish list. I saw somebody else haul this. And uh, I was really happy to grab that. That'll be fun. Um, you guys, uh, I was showing you guys the fabric treat sacks, and I told you that mine only had the one big bunny on it. Well, I found the one with the four bunnies on it. And when reading the package, this one is also four by eight inches. So apparently there are two packaging fronts for these fabric bunnies, because this one also includes four bunnies. They're the um, burlap bunny with the twine tie, and they're the same as the ones with the one bunny on it. So I picked up another pack just to show you guys um, that if you see the four on the front or the one on the front, you still get the same number of bags, and they're the same size. So anyway, I picked up another pack. Uh, I picked up a movie. I got this for Caroline. It's Caillou. If you guys uh, don't know little kids cartoons, which I didn't, Caillou is a PBS Kids um, cartoon, and he teaches lessons on how little kids can get along with other little kids. Caroline likes him. Caillou, uh, Daniel Tiger, and Peg Plus Cat are her three favorites. This one has uh, six episodes on it. So we're going to watch this together. She was really happy. She held on to Caillou the whole time in the cart. She was really happy with that. So kept her happy while I got to shop the Dollar Tree. I also picked her up these little cute uh, snap clips, hair things. They're, look at how pretty they are. Look at the colors on these. Uh, she doesn't really like stuff in her hair, but I thought these were so pretty. I said, you know what? At some point, she's going to want to put stuff in her hair, and I had to pick them up. So you get six clips, and they were really pretty, so I grabbed those for her. Um, I also picked her up these bunny crayons. How freaking cute are these? Can you stand it? They're little shaped bunnies, and they got your like primary colors. And so I got her these for her Easter basket. There's uh, six crayons. And they I'm sure, you know, once you start using them, they'll lose your, their shape or whatever. But I thought they were really cute and she'll like them. So I got those for her for her Easter basket. Um, I picked up Madeline this birdhouse wind chime. Now I had bought uh, Madeline's brother a bunch of these wood things to put together. Um, you know, the, the car, the boat, the birdhouse, whatever. He really enjoyed them. So I picked this up for her because she's only uh, four. No, she's five. And uh, it just makes a little wind chime. And it seems like it's simple to put together or her mother and father can help her. And then you just color the, the top of it, the little birdhouse part. So I'm going to put that in Madeline's Easter basket. They had uh, a unicorn one, but the person I was with took the two unicorn ones, and I didn't get a chance to get the unicorn one. So I'm hoping to find that later, um, and if I do, I'll put that in her basket as well. Had to pick up this whoopee cushion for Jordan. He's nine years old, and he is going to just love having something that makes fart noises because he's a nine-year-old boy. So I got this for him, and uh, that's going to go in his Easter basket. 
uh, I picked up some baby items because I know that there's going to be a baby coming very soon. Um, I'm not going to make any announcements right now, but picked up these two uh, fork and spoon sets. I was trying to pick up one for the new baby, um, but Caroline loves yellow, so she got one and the baby got one. I also picked up this pacifier holder. It's got a little baby Elmo with his diaper on and it's green. Won't, don't know the sex of the baby, so got to go neutral. Picked up a little brush and comb set with Elmo on it and his little diaper. And these are all Sesame Street um, brand and uh, they're BPA free, so that's good to know. Got Cookie Monster uh, Rattle and I got an Elmo Rattle because they're just so cute. Uh, I picked up one of these uh, fragrance sachet two pack. It's White Rose. I just thought I'd get this to, um, oh gosh, it smells so good. Um, just to keep things fresh around the house. Um, they have these a lot in Dollar Tree, different scents. And I just picked this one up and, oh gosh, it smells so good. It smells just like roses. So I got this. It says, enjoy every moment, delight and relax in the pleasures of continuous fine fragrance wherever you like. So I put these like in my drawers, in the closets, um, you know, just to keep things freshened up. So I got those. White Rose smells really good. And the last couple things I picked up was I got another one of these storage baskets. Love the design on these. Really love the uh, blue, navy blue color that they came out with. Picked that up for storage. And the last thing I got was this little birdie on a bicycle. He's a wind thing, a wind stake. You know, his little wheels will spin, but he's so stinking cute. I can't get up to the camera. Let me see. Look at him. How cute is he? I had to have him. They had um, a turtle and some other figure on a bike as well. But I just thought this little bird was cute. And with all the other outside decorations I got, I couldn't get more than one. I could have. I probably will at a later time because that's how I am. I can't resist. But I just picked up the little bird for now with his little spinning wheels. And he's going to go out in the front when it gets warm here in New York because the ground is so stinking frozen because it's freezing out that you can't put anything in the ground. And it'll be covered with snow anyway. So that's my Dollar Tree haul, guys. Um, I'm really getting tired of this winter. So, so over this snow and cold weather. It's only March. And in New York, March is not any different than February. It gets a little bit warmer, maybe to like 40 degrees once in a while. But all this week, it's been teens and single digits at night so no not fun so over it looking forward to going to florida in april and i hope you all are having a good day you get to enjoy your weekend and uh i don't mean to bitch and moan about the weather but i don't know just tired of it i hope you all come back to see me again give me a thumbs up leave me a comment Say hi, Kath. How are you? Good to see you. Um, and if you want to send me friend mail, I would love to send some people some friend mail. I sent, used to send out a lot of friend mail when I was just watching people's videos. And uh, now filming and responding to comments and all that, um, I find it difficult to send friend mail to other people. So if you guys want to send me something, I would love to send you something back. A card, a letter, um, whatever. Um, you have my address in, the, in my main page. In the About section is my home address. If you want to send me something, um, I'd love to send you guys something back. Just to say hey. 
Um, okay, if you're a new subscriber, hit that subscribe button, uh, ring that bell. You'll be notified when I upload videos. And uh, I have to go pick up Miss Caroline from preschool shortly, so I am going to say goodbye and have a great weekend. I'll probably see you over the weekend, guys. Bye now.